This particular model is used to help you identify the parts of an individual nerve cell. A nerve cell is also called a neuron. And these are just two parts of a nerve cell because a real nerve cell would be way too long to fit on a board like this. A real nerve cell has got a cell body where the nucleus of the nerve cell lives. And in the cell body, you will find uh, a lot of rough endoplasmic reticulum, which gets called nissel bodies. When it comes to the cell body, there are these, actually they would be long uh, processes, little arms coming away from the cell body, and these are all going to be dendrites. The dendrites would not be cut off like this. They would have long ends sticking out like a, like a porcupine or the spines on some sort of a flower seed. Uh, these rubbery structures that are orange, you'll notice that they are stuck to the dendrites and also stuck to the cell body of this particular neuron. These represent the very end uh, pieces of other nerve cells that are connecting to this nerve cell. These are synaptic end bulbs. They are part of the, the terminus of other nerve cells. So right here, where the end of one nerve cell touches the next nerve cell, this area is called a synapse, and that's why these are called synaptic bulbs. This area here is the beginning of another process, and this other process is called an axon. Uh, when it comes to the cell body, the dendrites take information towards the cell body, but this, the axon, is gonna take information away from the cell body. The beginning of the axon is called the axon hillock. The axon, you can see, is shown in greater detail here. So this part of the axon might be attached right here, for example. And you can see the axon going right through the middle of this bulkier structure. So this would be the axon, here in blue and cut open. Then what is all of this? Well, all of this that's wrapped around and many, many layers wrapped around the axon of the nerve cell is a Schwann cell, also called a Schwann cell. This is the nucleus of the Schwann cell. Here's another nucleus of the Schwann cell. And during development, this Schwann cell wrapped itself around and round and round and round the axon of this nerve cell. And then this cell dedicated itself towards making a substance called myelin. This area on the inside that has been made by the Schwann cell has got a name, it's called the myelin sheath. And it's important for insulating the axon. Where one myelin sheath comes in contact with the next myelin sheath, there's an area here that is referred to as the node of Ranvier. The nodes of Ranvier in your textbook are shown very differently from how they look on this particular model. But in both cases, the nodes of Ranvier are an area where there actually is very little insulation. And uh, this is important to the activity of the nerve cell. 